Hi, this is Renee, and in this video, I am going to show you how to create a email sign-up form that you can embed right in your blog post. Looks so, it can look like this one right here. I'm using Thrive Leads for this, and this is on a self-hosted WordPress blog, just so you know. So Thrive Leads is a premium product. It costs you like $67, I believe, but it is so worth it. You can build one that looks like this. You can build pop-ups. You can have something that goes across the top here. There's all kinds of options, but I'm going to show you in this video how to embed a sign-up form in your blog post. All right. So with that said, you're going to want to go to your WordPress dashboard. You're going to scroll down to the bottom and you're going to click on Thrive Dashboard. Then you're going to click on Thrive Leads Dashboard. And in this case, we're going to scroll down to what's called Lead Short Codes. This little short code right here is what we'll put on the post. By the way, you need absolutely no coding skills to do this. They have so many templates, it's so easy to choose from. This is gonna be fast. So here we go. So click on Add New under Lead Shortcodes. We're gonna give it a name. We're gonna go Test for Folks. Add Lead Shortcodes. Now we're gonna scroll down till we find it, and then we're gonna click on this little blue pencil icon and say, it says edit. Now we're gonna click on create form. We're gonna have to name it again. I find this a bit annoying, but you know, whatever. Form, I'm just gonna call it form because this is just a little test form. And then again, click on edit design. All right, now it pops up with all kinds of templates here, right? Lots of choices. We have multi-step templates that you could create, but we're gonna go with just a normal opt-in template. Now, as you can see, there's plenty of ones to choose from. So it depends on how um, intricate you want to get with your design. I'm a big fan of something that looks nice, but gets the point across pretty quickly and easily. So how about, let's just pick, Mm, let's pick this one, all right? Short code set 27. I've selected on it, which means that it has a little green check mark right there. I just scroll down and I say choose template. Now, this is what it exactly will look like. So what, a couple of things that can happen. One, if I put my mouse right there in the blue area and I select, I can choose on the color palette and I can change the background of it to something um, different if I want. And if I like that, that's fine. I could also, I could leave this blue and orange like that. That's cool. Or I could change the background of it again. Something like that. Not so fancy, right? Um, so let's select out of there and let's undo that. I'm going to leave it at the blue and orange. Now, if I wanted to, I could put a picture of my, that represents my content upgrade. So I could go change image. And all I did was click on that image, click on change image. And I could find a little picture uh, that represents my content upgrade. Let's see if I can find one here real quick. Show you what I mean. Sometimes, sometimes I'll create a little image just like this. And it'll kind of visually represent my content upgrade and what it's about. That is completely up to you. I, it's just a little extra thing, but in all honesty, their icons are really nice as well. So subscribe to our newsletter. You could click on this and you could say, get a free report on how to, you could, whatever you would like to say. That, the hardest part of this is figuring out what you want to actually say. Then you can say here, sign up oops, for our newsletter and you will get a free report on long tail keywords and maybe something a little more enticing okay that's that's 
completely up to you, whatever you want to put here. Again, this is the hardest part of the entire setup. So just keep that in mind. If you wanted to change the color of this text, you can just select on it, choose your color palette, and you could change the color. Right. I know I'm not designing a very um, beautiful one, but you, you'll do better at this than me on colors. So now we have our, our document just like we want it, right? Now all we have to do is connect it to our MailChimp. So put your mouse over the word subscribe button and just select left mouse select. Click on connect with service. Create a new connection. API, go to the next step. And then we're going to say MailChimp. So if you had more than one, you could choose that there. Choose your mailing list. So this will be the new mailing list that you have created for your content upgrade. So I'm just going to save that one right there. We're going to say double opt-in. And I'm going to say save. And then here, you can make the decision if you want the person's name and their email address. That's completely up to you. And then right here, it says reload current page. But really, we want to redirect them to that three-step thank you page. So you would want to put the URL to your three-step thank you page right here. For the sake for the second, I am going to just copy a URL and put it in there so you can see what it looks like. All right, so this is three-step thank you page. And then you click on save and you're done. So as long as you have the colors, you have your image you want, whatever you want your call to action to be, that will redirect them to that three-step thank you page and you click on save changes. So you're going to need a link to your three-step thank you page, you're going to need Thrive Leads, um, and you're going to need an idea of what you want to give people. And that's pretty much it. This is a pretty simple step. Once we're done with this, we just we hit save changes, then we close this tab, and then we go back to the Thrive Leads dashboard, and we click the back to dashboard. We scroll down, we find our new Thrive Leads test for folks. We copy the um, short code right there, and then we go over to our page, and inside the page with Thrive Content Builder, or even if it's a normal page, you can just add a piece of text and you can paste that in there and now your content upgrade will show up just like that right there so if you are not using thrive content builder it's okay you just paste that short code directly into your page at the bottom and it'll show up just like it does right here so you don't need thrive content builder to do this i just like using thrive content builder so that's completely up to you but for this tutorial, you definitely need Thrive Leads. All right. I hope that this helps you create your content upgrade and log on.